two games into the regular season. How comfortable are you getting with what you're seeing as far as from the defense and what they're throwing at you? Yeah, I mean, um, every game is something new. Um, you go from game one where they bring a lot of pressure, game two, trying to mess with your eyes. Um, and, you know, not as much pressure, but, you know, they got some, some guys out there that can rush the passer. Um, so now it's like going from that game, seeing the growth to game two, and hopefully is figuring out ways how can I get better each and every week. Uh, what little thing can I focus on in, in uh, practice, you know, that can help me out on Monday. Donna Hopkins Pro Football Plus out here at the Commander's Headquarters as they get ready for their primetime Monday night game in Cincinnati against the Bengals, a team that is 0-2 to start the season, and the Cincinnati Bengals don't want to go down 0-3 in that division. You look at last week's game where they dropped to the Kansas City Chiefs, Joe Barrels and that company had this game pretty much wrapped up, but a late penalty gave uh, Petra Mahomes and that team some life as they went on to kick uh, the winning field goal. So this week's spotlight is on the commander's wide receiving group. Uh, six times they're down in the red zone last week in their win against the Giants, and they only came away with field goals. But as Brian Robinson said, they least scored. But this week, I asked Nora Brown, who came in last week and had some big catches down the stretch in the fourth quarter for this commander's team that got them down in the area, area to be able to kick that winning field goal. I asked him, you get down there in the red zone, what are some of the things as receiving group that you all could do to help out Jaden Daniels down there? And this is what he had to say. I know you got Cincinnati coming up Monday night game. How do you see that game? What is the key things for this offense to get off to a quick start? I'm um, just really focusing on the details. You know, you're going into a hostile environment against a good team. It, it takes a really good week of practice. It takes being locked in from, you know, Tuesday on to Sunday. And, and you know, I think we've done a good job of that so far. But, you know, it's, it's all about the practice week and, and nailing it down then. So Sunday is just rehearsal. You got a chance also to look at the film from last week. What, what, what were some of the takeaways as far as what you learned about what this offense is doing in, in moving forward? Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, it certainly hasn't been as pretty as it could be or as pretty as we wanted it to be in the first two games, but it's a hell of a lot of plays out there for us to make and a hell of a lot of plays that we are making. So, you know, I, I think that we have a lot of opportunity for growth as the season goes, and you know, as long as we stay locked in, it'll happen. Talk about a little bit about the red zone, getting down there that many times. What are some of the things uh, offensively, receiver-wise, that you all could do probably this week to help out Jaden a little bit more? Um, you, you know, the same thing that we do in the open field is just execute the play that's called. Um, you don't, we don't got to do anything special in the, in the red zone. Um, you know, it's hard to get down there as many times as we did, so it tells you what we can do as an offense. We just got to finish. Well, along with uh, Zacchaeus, uh, I got to talk to uh, Zach Hertz, and, you know, last week Dan Quinn talked about just how he exploded in that Giants game. So we're going to go to the locker room to hear what he has to say, and then Sam Cosby of how he sees things as far as that offensive line and some key things that they have to do against a pretty good Bengals uh, defense. The key thing in this week's game is Cincinnati is going to be mad coming in here because they don't want to go down 0-3 in that division. And Joe Barrow, we know he's a quarterback uh, that can scramble out of the pocket, that can elude the defenses, and uh, he just creates problems. When you look at Washington and the three quarterbacks that they have faced so far this season, being that Baker Mayfield, Daniel Jones, everybody's giving him a lot of credit, but guess what? He always does a good job against the Washington Commanders, and if they had that field goal kicker, we might be talking about a different story of this Commanders team being 0-2. But, um, you know, going uh, forward and, and knowing what this Commanders team has to do, getting off to a quick start, these are some of the things that Brian Robinson had to say about that running game that has helped this offense tremendously. But I think, uh, like I said, the spotlight is on the wide receiver group this week. Uh, where they, to me, still has not stepped up to see what you've got in the passing game. And they've got to be big this week up in Cincinnati. It's a pressure game. 
uh, the Commanders. You look at their schedule ahead. They've got the Bengals on Monday night. Then they go up to Phoenix, come back and play Cleveland. Then they go on the road again against the Baltimore Ravens. So they cannot afford to have any hiccups at this time of the season. And they've got to, against Cincinnati, score more than field goals if they're planning on getting this win. So let's go to the locker room to hear from the offensive side of the ball as far as the offensive line and some of the uh, receivers and tight end and what they had to say about the keys for this week's game against the Bengals. I think it's just coming, uh, comes down to execution, uh, you know, executing our game plan in the right way and then being better in the red zone. Uh, I think uh, we, can, we can build on that coming up into this game, moving forward and just moving forward with the season as well. But those two things are, are definitely huge. You talked about being better in the red zone. You all get down there like six times or so forth, come away with just field goals. What is the things that you all or you can pinpoint that you can do a little bit better uh, down there to get into the red, to, to get into the end zone. Yeah, I think it's just being locked in on you know our game plan and knowing it like the back of our hands, and then um, you know going out there and executing it when when you know it's time. Um, that definitely is the major thing, and then uh, yeah, that's that's really what it came down to this past game. Talk about the play of the receivers going into the third game. What do you like about what you've done so far overall as a team? And what are some things that you think that you can get better at as a team? As a team or as a position? As a position group. Uh, I feel like our energy and effort has been there. Um, you know, there, there are certain things that, you know, like technique-wise and then, uh, you know, certain certain uh, certain plays that we just got to get better at. Um, you know, like blocking on the perimeter and stuff like that. Um, certain route things, route details and stuff like that. So. Uh, we have things to improve on, but I like I like our intent, I like our effort, and the want to to be good and be great uh, is, is definitely there. But we just got to tighten up on some certain technique things. What is the key as far as getting that win last week, and and what you all have to do to start off quick this week also? Yeah, we just got to be able to go out there and execute. Um, third down conversions, we got to be able to run the ball early, um, so we don't get in third and long because I got some really good pass rushers. Um, so for us, it's just about being efficient. Don't have any pre-snap penalties. That's something that we're really going to work on this week after last week. Um, we just got to go execute. We got to score touchdowns in the red zone against this team because they got a really good offense as well. Um, so it's just us, up to us to go play our football. I was just getting ready to touch on that, to get down that, that many times and not being able to punch it in. Is it anything particular you all could do uh, as far as to help Jaden get down there? Or just take me through something as far as how difficult it is to punch it in there. Well, yeah, the Giants play really, they have a really good scheme. First of all, we got to give them a lot of credit for how they play, but also you can't have negative plays, you can't have false starts, you can't have miscommunications. And so for us, it's just being being cleaner. Um, it's obviously only our third game together, so we got to go out there and play better, cleaner football. Um, and if we're able to do that, I mean, I'm confident that we'll be able to be able to score some touchdowns. I was getting ready to ask you, how do you see this offense overall right now going into your third game of the season from the running game to the offensive line on back to the receivers? Yeah, we're growing. Um, that's the word I think of with this team right now. We're growing, we're evolving together. Um, and we haven't come close to our potential, but it's up to us to go up there and get us and be able to maximize our talents. Um, Jaden's obviously going to be a heck of a player in this league, and he's leading this offense well, and Cliff's doing a great job calling it. So it's up to us to kind of fill in the gaps and be better. Did you see a difference in your game as far as from week one to week two? Because Coach Quinn talked about as far as just what he saw in you in that, that second game of the season. I mean, I saw you go up and did take the ball from somebody. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just felt like I wanted to be a tone setter for this team. You know, I felt like uh, when my numbers call, I want to be able to make a play and bring a lot of energy to this team. And I feel like I was more deliberate in that regard. Um, obviously, week one was kind of just a weird game overall. But overall, to be able to be at home, in front of our home fans, we wanted to find a way to win, and that's what we did. What are some, some keys that you can take from the first two weeks as far as what you're seeing from this offense? Um, I just feel like we just haven't put together a, a complete game, like clean game yet. Um, still, you know, trying to figure out like what we want our identity to be, you know, um, and I think we got a great idea of that in the first two games. So um, it's definitely something to build off of, you know, going into week three. So I'm excited to see how we can mix it up and, you know, put them to the test. You know, every day I get to just, you know, prove, you know, what I'm capable of, you know, no matter what it is, you know, catching or running. You know, so, um, you know, the more targets I get in the past game, the more, you know, exciting I'm going to you know, show, 
you know, how, how I am with my hands. So, you know, I, it's pretty obvious what I can do in a running game. You know, the more opportunities I get, the more I'll show what I can do there. But I'm really excited to show what I can do in the passing game as well. Yeah, I mean, we had, you know, two weeks of really getting to learn each other and doing all that. Um, you know, things that we need to clean up in those first two weeks, but like offensively, we're just that close, you know? Um, you know, lack of communications, communication in certain aspects of the game. But like I said, like, if we fix those things, like, uh, offensively, we can be really, really good. I mean, you got to see how we were driving down the field last game. I mean, like, when all, you know, pistons are firing at the same time, uh, we're, we're rolling. So uh, we have a lot of talent everywhere. And, um, you know, if we protect the guy back there and do, all, do our thing, um, he's going to make special things happen. Monday night showdown in Cincinnati as the commanders hit the road. Uh, what are some of the things that this commanders team have to do if they're to get this W? First thing on the offensive side of the ball, they've got to get off to a quick start. Got to be able to run the ball like they did against the New York Giants. That means that if you can run the ball, you can keep their offense off the field. Also, the receivers that have been quiet in these first two games, they've got to show up. I mean, Noah Brown, you know, the end of last week's game, we saw some flashes of him. Zach Hurts, to me, had a pretty good game against the, the Giants, but it's been kind of like silence a little bit from Terry and Deami Brown and uh, Zacchaeus. Uh, those guys, to me, have to get open. They've got to find a way to get open. And then you go to the defensive side of the ball. The push up front has to be a lot more than what we're seeing right now because Joe Barrels will pick you apart. And if he's not picking you apart, he's going to be running all over the field and you're going to be playing chase with him. So I think the secondary, they're still trying to figure out that position, brought in another cornerback this week. But this team to me has to come out uh, and establish themselves and take Cincinnati out of the game because this Cincinnati team is mad right now because they're 0-2 and they don't want again drop to 0-3 in that division and have a, a big hill to clam up. So as we get ready for Monday night in Cincinnati, we've got a few more days of practice before we all hit the road to see if this commander's team can come away 2-1 and one in the division as they get ready after Cincinnati to go on the road against Phoenix and then come back against Cleveland and then go on the road again up the road to face the Baltimore Ravens. So they right now cannot have any hiccups because they have a, a tough stretch ahead of them with these four games. But first, the Cincinnati Bengals are waiting for the Washington Commanders. So Donna Hopkins out here at Commanders headquarters as we get ready on Monday night, prime time for the Cincinnati Bengals.